struggling today with this vlog, I'm telling you. Somebody told me the name of it, Chicago, is called like Kyogo, because it's like the land of many winds. So I'm trying to hide like in certain areas, because outside filming is the best. My camera doesn't really have all that great lighting, so best lighting to get is outside, and you gotta worry about the wind, like it's blowing out. Do you guys know who made the money in the gold rush? Like, you, you know the gold rush where everybody ran and flocked to California because they thought they were gold and everybody was digging for gold. Do you know who made the money in the gold rush? We're elevating the outdoor living. Thought I'd let you think for a second. But anyway, the people who made the money in the gold rush is the suppliers. So my vlog today is sort of not really on dogging the suppliers, but it's really more or less the mindset of the DIY. Like people who know me, they know that I'm pretty much a straight shooter, direct person. I, sometimes I could hurt your feelings because I'll just come right at you, fire right at you direct. Uh, today I want to talk about DIY. I cannot stand DIY landscape projects. Now it doesn't bother me if it's just like a small area, like a 10 by 10 area or five by five. What bothers me is, is people will take on these huge massive projects on their own as if it's a DIY project, as if they know what they're doing. I mean, these projects are bigger than sometimes projects that we'll do as professionals. Still struggling bad with this wind thing. I finally had to go all the way down and go low. So you guys got to deal with this angle, me looking down upon you because I can't go up any higher. The wind is everywhere. I don't know how I'm gonna get this vlog in this winter, man, because if it's this cold outside, or not cold, but if it's gonna be this windy, we're gonna have a rough time. But anyway, I want to get back to DIY projects. The reason why I really don't like the DIY, for some reason, it's always sold very heavily in the outdoor living industry. I mean, if you look at any, some of these shows and things like that, they're always pushing, hey, do it yourself, do it yourself, you can handle this. And really, guys, you can't. Do you really know how long it takes to learn how to run a bobcat? Or how about this, give you, give you some simple math. If you are dealing with a 200 square foot patio, you have at least, 8,000 pounds of gravel. Uh, no, 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 let me take that back. You have six ton, which is a ton is 2,000 pounds. So you got about 12,000 pounds of gravel to run to your backyard. So either you're gonna shovel it or you're gonna run, rent a, a two or $300 a day machine that you've never ran before in your life to get it back there. Then you got all the material. Then you gotta make sure it's level. And just because you see that little string line or something like that on TV, or you see it like in a thing, it doesn't it doesn't level that way. I mean, it, there's, there's a whole lot of technique to it. So DIY projects, I'm not really a fan of it at Outdoor Living, and I don't know why it's pushed so heavily, but that's why I said in the beginning, the people who are making money on DIY are suppliers. So what is it for the supplier to say, hey, buy the materials from here, hire this design firm, We'll have the certain crews put it in and raise the level, but, but the DIY section of it is still pushed. I don't get it. I mean, the average material, I'd say, for a DIY project, it's like a little small paper patio, DIY project, let's call it three, $4,000. When was the last time anybody has practiced, I mean, practiced on three or $4,000 other than having student loans, going to college and things like that? Why would you practice again? And then also, if it's done improperly, not done correctly, it lowers the value because everybody, everybody that I know is sort of buying their house, even if they're doing it or not, but they're sort of buying their house with this ideal of property value, what am I getting returned? Why would you destroy the value and take yourself backwards? And that's what I said, like DIY, I don't know guys, it just drives me insane. I'm not really a fan of DIY projects at all, period, zilch. And it's not just because I'm a designer. I just think you don't practice on it. I mean, you don't see anybody, you don't see too many people practicing on their uh, remodel kitchen. You don't see anybody practicing too much on their, their new bathroom renovation. I mean, don't get me wrong. You got people who are just handy as hell that can do all that stuff, but most of everybody not really good at DIY. So my take for DIY, I don't like that shit.